What's up spell slingers and Highlander enthusiasts, Havoc here, and today I would like to present you with another EDH deck tech from one of the legends we got in Dominaria. Again, we aren't going to go through the entire 99 because that would take a really long time, but I want to give you something to think about when it comes to your own deck building. I just want to show you some of the gems that I've found in my own deck building, and you can do with them what you like. Well, let's meet our commander for today. It's Halar the Fire Fletcher. Halar is a legendary elf archer on a 3-3 body in ghoul colors, costing one and red green. Halar has trample, but that's not all. The rest of the text box reads, whenever you cast a spell, if it was kicked, put a plus one plus one counter on Halar. Then they deal damage equal to the number of counters on them to all opponents. This is just such an interesting ability to me and really in my mind this is just kind of a more fair version of Neheb. As many of you know after building my Neheb deck and playing with it for a few times I eventually tore it apart. It was fun to burn down my playgroup a few times but it was just too strong. At least that's how it went in my meta but Halar's a little different and I think this is something that I can get behind. It's not as explosive as Neheb, and I think that's right where I want to be with my EDH decks. But don't get me wrong here, this deck has plenty of explosive power built into it, but it's not all about the burn. So let's talk about the breakdown real quick. Halar really only cares about two things, counters and kickers. But we can't lose our focus here. I know it's tempting to just jam this deck full of 30 kicker spells, but that really isn't the most effective way to take advantage of Halar's ability. To use a metaphor, the kicker spells are really just the match to light the fuse on this powder keg that is Halar. What we need are ways to make Halar more explosive when they do go off. So with that being said, first we need to take a look at how we're going to pour on the counters here and then we'll take a look at the kickers. Another way to make Halar more explosive is just to double the damage that they're doing. So we'll take a look at some damage doublers that we can work with. And finally, we need to accelerate the pace of the game so we can do all the things that we want to be doing. So first, how are we going to put the massive amount of counters on Halar so they can burn down our opponents quickly and make our general a true threat in combat? Well, we start out with doubling season and hardened scales. These are just the obligatory plus one plus one counter includes in every deck that has this. I wish there was something a little more synergistic here or maybe more on theme, but these are just really the best options for counters in green. Next we have Verderous Gear Hulk. This is just a great creature and it gives us a lot of counters for only five mana and it's just great. It's everything that we want. Bow of Nylea is a great artifact or enchantment or both or whatever, but it gives us a lot of utility here. It puts counters on Halar and it gives all of our creatures death touch, which will make our opponents think twice before they tack into you. Retreat to Kazandu is a great include as well. It gets you a plus one plus one counter on every land drop that we have. And being in green, we're going to have a lot of land drops, so this is great. Next, we have a few equipment slash enchantments that gives us plus one plus one counters every turn in Forced Adaptation, Ring of Colonia, and Ring of Valkus. All of these are very cheap and they all give us one counter a turn, but if we have some counter doublers out there or other ways to take advantage of this, this can be a lot of counters every turn, which is great. Soul's Might can quickly more than double the amount of counters on Halar. And even if you're resetting after Halar has been removed, this can start get the counter ball rolling again. Increasing Savagery gives us five counters for four mana, which is really nice, but you can cast it again out of the graveyard to give you 10 counters for seven mana, which is even better. And this can hit your opponents out of nowhere, and that's where Halar likes to live. And the final card I think we should think about in this counters part of the deck tech is Evolutionary Escalation. Now, I know that this gives your opponents counters too, but if you pick the right opponents, chances are they aren't really going to be utilizing them to their highest potential like we are. 
These are some of the great ways I could think of to consistently get those counters on Halar. But these aren't all that I put in the deck. I have about 15 cards in the deck that are all about putting on those plus one, plus one counters. So be sure to check out the full deck list in the description below. Next, let's look at the kickers. Now with these kicker cards, we're not just picking any type of card that has kicker on it. We want something that's going to help us or do more than one thing than just trigger Halar. And we have to start out with Strength of Tajuru. This card offers us so much synergy here. It gives us so many counters and it also kicks Halar's ability here. This really could be the MVP of the deck. Next is Unstable Footing. It's just a cheap kicker when you need it. And for some removal, we have Burst Lightning and Shivan Fire. Both are great removal options and also a kicker proc. Mold Shambler is another great kicker creature that allows you to destroy a non-creature permanent, which in a game of EDH, there's a lot of those running around, so all good things for us. We also have some great kicker ramp options in Everflowing Chalice, as well as a new card coming out of Dominaria, Grow From The Ashes. This is just great ramp, and like I said before, we need to be ramping so we can do the things that we want to do. Next is Sentinel Wood Readers, which gives you card draw and is also a kicker too. And Wolf Briar Elemental helps you muck up the board with Tutu Wolf Creatures, and it triggers Halar. You see a theme here. Vines of Vastwood. Now, this can give Halar some much needed protection from targeted removal, but it also triggers their ability. And finally, we have Varric's Blade Wing. It gives you a threat and probably two in the air. Either can be used for protection or to finish off an opponent with damage in the air. Just great. Again, in my deck, I don't want a ton of these kickers, just enough that I'll be able to draw and trigger Halar a few times a game. And really, that's all you need is those few triggers a game if you do your job pumping up Halar with crazy amounts of counters. But what can end the game even faster is just doubling the amount of damage Halar is doing with their ability. So here are some damage doubler options for you. First and foremost, I think Dictate of the Twin Gods is our best option because you can flash it in before your turn and knock out your opponents out of nowhere. I love it. Furnace of Wrath is also a good damage doubler, but you can't flash this one in, but it can still surprise the table if you have enough mana to cast both the enchantment and a kicker spell in a turn. And why not throw Helm of the Host in this deck? I'm just throwing this in every deck I can because it's just so interesting, but it can affect effectively double or triple or even quadruple our damage potential depending on how long it stays on the board. And there's also Stryonic Resonator, another great option that only costs two mana to repeatedly double trigger Halar, just great. These are just a few options. I mean, you don't want to put too many of these in, but they are super sweet when they work out. Finally, we need to talk accelerants, namely ramp and card draw. We all know green is great at ramp, and we've already discussed a few options, but we still need more. But card draw, on the other hand, is going to be a little more difficult. So let's see what we got. Starting off the accelerants, we have Soul's Majesty. Now this can get you a lot of cards if your Halar has been pumped with counters. So I would hold on to this until you can get at least four or five cards out of it. Next is Lifecrafter's Bestiary, and this is just a great card. It smooths out your draws, and it can give you a card on your creature casts. Just great. Next is Inspiring Call, and this can give you protection and card draw at the same time, and synergy is always nice in our format. Elfame Druid is our first ramp option we can look at, and this is a kicker-specific mana dork that can do a lot of work for us over the course of a game. Oracle of Moldaya is just classic ramp and it's really good. If you have the Oracle, then I think you'd be right in just putting this in every green deck that you have. Gyre Sage is another great ramp option for us because we're in this counters strategy. It can tap for a ton of mana if it's used correctly. And finally, Zendikar Resurgent gives you another card draw option and it doubles your mana so you can cast those big kicker spells later in the game. So there you have it. Halar is just awesome in my book and just the right amount of shenanigans mixed with counter synergy and burn. 
Now, a deck like this needs protection for your commander, but Halar is actually a pretty low CMC, so casting them three or four times in the game is really more than doable. But you do want to run the typical general protection suite if you have it. But I wanna know what you think. Is there anything I'm forgetting here with the counters and kickers theme? And what are your overall thoughts on Halar? I really want to know. Is gruel counters and kickers just not your thing or do you love it? I want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Once again, my name is Havoc and this has been an EDH Deck Tech. Thanks for watching, happy brewing, and we'll see you next time.